Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. The Illuminated Israelite Priest Kings of Ancient Syria. Our story takes place in the Arab world, or what is commonly known as the Middle East. The World Book Encyclopedia, Volume 1A, page 548, Arabs. Arabs. They do not make up a single race of people. Some have dark skin, and some have a fair complexion. The Arab world, the Middle East, dark and fair complexions. Bedouin woman, circa 1910. An Arab woman. Photographed by Granger. A family of Negroes living with the Al Shala'an Bedouin tribe. A Bedouin family, Arabs, the Al Shala'an Bedouin tribe, Bedouin Negroes. Bedouin Arab females. Bedouin Arab woman. Cherokee Indian woman. In the Middle East and in ancient time, what they called race was fluid. She, the Cherokee Indian woman, resembles the Bedouin Arab woman. This fresco or painting on the walls of the Temple of Baal, the ancient city of Dara Europis, is a family portrait of a Israelite family of priests and kings that ruled in the ancient country of Syria. The temple of Baal was dedicated to the god Baal, whom the Israelites in their disobedience served. Breaking the covenant they had made with the god of their fathers. These Hellenized and paganized Israelites of Syria, whom the New Testament identifies as Gentiles. These same Gentiles that the Apostle Paul preached the gospel to would receive the gospel and repent. Within the next 100 years, these people would rule the these people would rule the Roman Empire Byzantine or Western Roman Empire the Holy Roman Empire of the German nation and the kingdoms of Europe including France England Spain Italy Sweden Norway, Russia, Poland, and they would rule the Vatican itself as the
the popes or bishops of Rome. Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Icon Peter, Simeon Cromoy. The Dispersion of Israel, the Northern Kingdom of Israel, and the Southern Kingdom of Judah. The Revell Bible Dictionary. Dispersion of Israel. The scattering of the Jewish people from their homeland. Through much of history, the majority of Jews have lived in nations far from their homeland. This scattering among Gentile nations has been called the diaspora or dispersion of Israel. A dispersion of Israel map. The different colors represent the different geographical locations of the children of Israel during different periods and time. Purple represent the extent of Jews under the United Monarchy. Purple represents the children of Israel living in Israel itself. Green represent the Assyrian exile of the Northern Kingdom of Israel. Royal Blue represent the Babylonian exile of Judah. Sky blue represent the flight into Egypt under the persecution of the Babylonian Empire. The Israelites fled to Egypt. Red represent the Jews in the Persian capital of Susa. Orange gradual dispersion in the Hellenized world. Pink represents the locations Israel could be found under the Greek Seleucid Kingdom and the Romans. Syria, Turkey, Greece, and Italy. In the time of the Assyrian captivity, you could find Israelites in the city of Nineveh, in the country of Media, and in the river or on the banks of the river Gozan. That is color coded green. In the time of the Babylonian captivity, color-coded royal blue, the Israelites could be found in the area of Babylon, in the city of Babylon. In the time of the Persian captivity, the Israelites could be found in the royal city of the Persian Empire, Susa, color-coded red. There was a gradual dispersion in the Hellenized world of Greeks-speaking Jews or Greek-speaking Israelites under the Ptolemaic kingdom or dynasty. In the Greek captivity, in Ptolemaic Egypt, Israelites could be found in the city of 
Alexandria, Egypt. And last, color-coded pink, under the Greek Seleucid Kingdom and the Romans, Israelites could be found located in Syria, different parts of Turkey, Greece, Macedonia, and Italy. The first exile of Israel in 712 BC that can be found in 2 Kings chapter 17 verse 6 1 Chronicles chapter 5 verse 26 and the first exile of Judah 597 to 582 BC and that can be found in the second book of Kings Chapter 24, verse 11 to 16. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 52, verse 28 to 30. And the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 15. Initiated a dispersion that continued under the Persian Hellenistic and Roman empires. Some scholars believe that one of every 10 persons in the first century Roman Empire was a Jew. 10% of the population of the Roman Empire were Jews or they were Jews who knew they were Jews and practiced the customs of their forefathers. There is no count or number placed on the amount of Israelites that lived in Persia, Babylon, Egypt, Syria, Turkey, Greece, and Italy, who were descendants of Israelites. But these people no longer practiced their customs or identified themselves as Israelites. Old Testament background. From the time of their first patriarch, Abraham, the Jews have been people of the land. Abraham, Dura Europus Synagogue, Syria. Syria is very important in this story. Old Testament background. Jacob's family migrated to Egypt. Arrival of Semites or Shemites in Egypt from the tomb of Beni Hassan. This is a painting that can be found in the temple of Beni Hassan. Old Testament background, Jacob's family migrated to Egypt where their descendants became slaves and make their lives bitter with hard service in mortar and brick. The book of Exodus chapter 1 verse 14 painting from the tomb of Rechmeyer, 15th century BC.
Old Testament background. But God led Israel back to the promised land through a miraculous sea crossing. Moses and the children of Israel crossing the Red Sea. Dera Europis Synagogue, Syria. Old Testament background and a generation of desert wanderings. Moses and the twelve tribes of Israel in the wilderness. Dera Europis Synagogue, Syria. The law transmitted through Moses gave detailed instructions about the land the Israelites would inhabit. It was a land of milk and honey. The book of Numbers, chapter 13, verse 27. Full of blessing and peace. If the Israelites were true to the Lord, but the law also predicted what would happen to an unfaithful Israel. After listing terrible punishments, God would bring on his people if they violated their covenant with him. Moses recorded the ultimate map of the land of Israel. map of the land of Israel and its natural resources. Vegetation and resources in ancient Palestine. The ancient land of Israel was very diverse in the vegetation that the country possessed before the wars of the Babylonians, Assyrians, the Persians, the Greeks, and the Romans. There existed a hill country, a lowland country, high mountain types, Tyrrhenian zone, which represents a steppe land that you can find in Central Asia, an Arabian zone that resembled parts of Saudi Arabia. You had coastal dunes or beaches. Sudanese or Sudanian zone, which is savanna or grasslands. This is places where lions would live and the economy was very diverse and rich. They had barley, fish, papyrus, camels, dyes for dyeing different clothes, colors, dyes, date palm, textiles, cotton, linen, Olives, figs, grapes, honey, ores as in metals, pomegranates, salt, sheep, forest, wheat, cattle, fruit trees, and copper. Map of the land of Israel and its natural resources. The ancient Israelites lacked for nothing. The land was rich in resources. If Israel broke the covenant by breaking the laws, then the Lord will scatter you among all nations. From one end of the earth to the other, there you will worship other gods. 
gods of wood and stone, which neither you nor your fathers have known. Among those nations, you will find no repose or rest, no resting place for the sole of your foot. There the Lord will give you an anxious mind, eyes weary with longing, and a despairing heart. You will live in constant suspense, filled with dread, both night and day, never sure of your life. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64 to 66. Ezra, reading the law, Dera Europis Synagogue, Syria. The Kingdom of Israel, 1047 BCE to 930 BCE. The United Kingdom of Israel, around the time of Saul and David. Edom, vassals, and defeated peoples, Arameans, Ammon, Moab, Edom. Vassals and defeated peoples, they were subject of their Israel. The United Monarchy is the name given to the United Israelite Kingdom of Israel and Judah during the reigns of Saul, David, and Solomon, as depicted in the Hebrew Bible. It is traditionally dated to have lasted between 1047 BCE and 930 BCE. On the succession of Solomon's son Rehoboam in 930 BCE, the biblical account reports that the country split into two kingdoms. The kingdom of Israel including the cities of Shechem and Samaria in the north and the kingdom of Judah containing Jerusalem in the south. The Kingdom of Israel, the Northern Kingdom, 930 BCE to 720 BCE. Map of Israel and Judah in the 9th century BCE, with Israel in blue and Judah in yellow. According to the Hebrew Bible, the Kingdom of Israel was one of two successor states to the former United Kingdom of Israel and Judah. Historians often refer to the Kingdom of Israel as the Northern Kingdom, or as the Kingdom of Samaria, to differentiate it from the Southern Kingdom of Judah and the United Monarchy. The Kingdom of Judah, 930 BCE to 587 or 586 BCE. Map of the region in the 9th century BCE. The northern kingdom is in blue, and the southern kingdom of Judah is in yellow. The kingdom of Judah was an Iron Age kingdom of the southern Levant. The Hebrew Bible depicts it as the successor to the united monarchy, a term denoting the kingdom of Israel on the biblical kings Saul. David and Solomon, and covering the territory of two historical kingdoms, Judah and Israel. Elijah Elijah, meaning, my God is Yahweh. In the ancient Hebrew, my God is Yahweh. 
the Greek form of Elijah is Elias, was according to the books of Kings in the Hebrew Bible, a prophet and a miracle worker who lived in the northern kingdom of Israel during the reign of King Ahab, 9th century BCE. In 1 Kings chapter 18, Elijah defended the worship of the Hebrew God over that of the Canaanite deity Baal. The priest of Baal, Dewar Europus Synagogue, Syria. The symbols of the Canaanite religion was the idol Baal and the serpent. Biblical accounts. According to the Bible, by the 9th century BCE, the kingdom of Israel, once united under Solomon, had been divided into the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judah, which retained the historical capital of Jerusalem along with its temple. Omri king of Israel continued policies dating from the reign of Jeroboam contrary to religious law that were attended to reorient religious focus away from Jerusalem encouraging the building of local temple altars for sacrifices appointing priests from outside the family of the Levites and allowing or encouraging temples dedicated to Baal, an important deity in ancient Canaanite religion. Omri achieved domestic security with a marriage alliance between his son Ahab and Princess Jezebel, a worshiper of of Baal and the daughter of the king of Sidon and Phoenicia. These solutions brought security and economic prosperity to Israel for a time, but did not bring peace with the Israelite prophets who advocated a strict Deuteronomic interpretation of the religious law. Canaanite religion. The Canaanite religion was the group of ancient Semitic religions practiced by the Canaanites living in the ancient Levant. From at least the early Bronze Age through the first centuries AD. Canaanite religion was polytheistic and, in some cases, monolatristic. Some gods and goddesses were absorbed into the Yahwist religion of the ancient Israelites, notably El, who later became synonymous with Yahweh, Baal, and Asherah and to the Babylonian captivity where they, the Israelites, worshiped Yahweh alone or Yahweh alone. The beliefs of the Canaanites, their deities, a group of deities in a four-tier hierarchy headed by El, and Asherah were worshipped by the followers of the Canaanite religion. This is a detailed listing 
of Gibble, the god of the moon, and brother of Malak and Bel, part of a trio of gods of Pimyra, Syria. Along with Bel and Yahabal, also part of another trio with Baal Shemin and Malak Bel. On this map, we have the land of Canaan, which comprises the modern regions of Jordan, Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, and Syria. At the time when Canaanite religion was practiced, Canaan was divided into various city-states. Iglebal. Iglebal is a god from Pymira, originating from a North Syrian immigrant community. He is a moon god who was worshipped in the ancient Syrian city of Pymira as part of a trinity alongside Bel and Yehibal and associated with the sun god. Malak Bell. Ma'al was a title in honorific meaning owner, lord in the Northwest Semitic languages spoken in the Levant during antiquity. From its use among people, it came to be applied to gods. Scholars previously associated the Leonim with solar cults and with a variety of unrelated patron deities. But inscriptions have shown that the name Baal was particularly associated with the storm and fertility god Hadad and his local manifestation. The Hebrew Bible includes use of the term in reference to various Leviathan deities, often with application towards Hadad, who was decried as a false god. That use was taken over into Christianity and Islam, sometimes under the form of Bel Zebub in demonology. Baal was the god of fertility, weather, rain, wind, lightning, seasons, war, and sailors. In a fresco from Dera Europis Synagogue, Syria, the Canaanite religion. You can see the idol, Baal, which represents Iglebal and Baal being worshipped by the priest of Baal. The idols and false gods of the Canaanite religion Iglebal and Baal. A fresco or painting of Elijah, the prophet of the Lord, Dera Europis Synagogue, Syria. Under Ahab's kingship, Tensions exacerbated. Ahab built a temple for Baal. Then his wife Jezebel brought a large entourage of priests and prophets of Baal and Asherah into the country of Israel. In this context, Elijah is introduced in 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1 as Elijah the Tishabite. He warns Ahab 
that there will be years of catastrophic drought so severe that not even dew will form because Ahab and his queen stand at the end of a line of kings of Israel who are said to have done evil in the sight of the Lord. Historical dispersions of Israel. The Jewish people or Israelites remained concentrated in Palestine until the Assyrian invasions of the late 700s BC. The northern kingdom of Israel was defeated and its people taken captive in 722 BC. City of Ashtaroth, northern kingdom of Israel, taken into captivity by the Assyrians. The people of the southern kingdom of Judah were removed by the Babylonians in a series of deportations ending in 586 BC. When Cyrus, the Medo-Persian ruler, conquered Babylon in 539 BC, he gave the Jews permission to return to Judah. But most of the Jews stayed in the major cities of the Babylonian and Persian empires. Only a tiny minority returned to resettle Judah. Outside of Palestine, Babylonia was the part of the world most densely populated by the Jews. Cyrus the Great of Persia, 600 to 530 BC, Pasigade, Iran, Persia. Jews Southern Kingdom of Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi lived in the cities of the Persian Empire. According to the first century Jewish historian Josephus, Syria had large numbers of Jews in every city. The rights of the Jews of the city of Antioch on the Orontes River of Syria by A. Kasher. According to Josephus description just as the Jews of Alexandria, Egypt were known as Alexandrians their co-religionists in the city of Antioch were called Antiochians for Seleucus, the Greek king of Syria the founder of the Seleucid kingdom one of the generals of Alexander granted them their politia or civil rights. He says furthermore that they also received honor from the Greek kings of Asia. When they served with them in war, they fought wars for the Greek kings of Syria. And the Greek kings of Syria rewarded the Jews with political rights. 
On another occasion, Josephus noted that the Jewish race or Israelites were scattered all over the inhabited world, Asia, Africa, and Europe, mainly in Syria. But it was at Antioch, Syria, that they specially congregated, partly owing to the greatness of the city, but mainly because the successors of King Antiochus Epiphanes had enabled them to live there in security. They even allowed them to participate in the city equally with the Greeks. They had equal rights with the Greeks of Syria. So this leads us back to the main theme of this narrative. The illuminated Israelite priest kings of ancient Syria. Who they were? How did they get into Syria? And how did they become rulers in Syria? And what happened to them later in history? I am Blickis. 245 to 325 was a Syrian Neoplatonic philosopher of Arabic origin. He was actually an Israelite who identified as a Arab. Iamblichus was also the biographer of the Greek mystic philosopher and mathematician Pythagoras, who was also a Israelite, but who identified as a Greek. Iamplichus was born in Chalcis in Sili, Syria, the son of a wealthy, well-known family. Iamplichus was descended from the Amisenian dynasty, a royal family of priest kings, of Israelites, priest kings that ruled in Syria. Amisenian dynasty the Emesene or Emesan dynasty, also called the Samsa Giramids, or the Samsi Giramai, or the House of Samsa Giramus, were a Roman client dynasty of Arab. They were actually Israelites, priest kings, known to have ruled by 46 BC from Arethusa. And later from Emesa, Syria, to between 72 and 78 or 79, or at the latest, the reign of Emperor Antonius Pius, 138 to 161. Iamplichus, the famous Neoplatonist philosopher of the third century, was one of their descendants, as was Empress Julia Damna matriarch of the Severian dynasty. Julia Damna Julia Damna 160 to 217 AD was Roman Empress from 193 to 211 as the wife of Emperor Septimius Severus. She was the first empress of the Severian dynasty. Damna was born in Emesa, present-day Homs, in Roman Syria, to an Arab family. They actually were Israelites. A priest of the deity of Elagabalus. They were priests of the Canaanite religion. The Severin Tondo, circa 200 AD, depicting Julia Damna, Septimius Severus, and their sons, Gita. His face is erased. In Caracalla, the Severian dynasty, Roman imperial 
dynasties. Roman Emperor Septimius Severus and Julia Domna, his wife. Punic Assyrian Israelites, rulership of the Roman Empire. Septimius Severus was Punic or Phoenicians, Israelites who lived in North Africa. Julia Domna was of an Israelite family that lived in Syria. Punic people. The Punic people or Carthaginians were a Shemitic people in the Western Mediterranean who migrated from Tyre, Onisha to North Africa during the early Iron Age. In modern scholarship, the term Punic, the Latin equivalent of the Greek derived term Phoenician, is exclusively used to refer to Phoenicians in the Western Mediterranean. The largest Punic settlement was ancient Carthage, essentially modern-day Tunis. But there were 300 other settlements along the North African coast from Leptis Magna in modern Libya to Magador in southern Morocco, as well as western Sicily, southern Sardinia, the southern and western coast of the Iberian Peninsula or Spain, Malta, and Ibsda. Their language, Punic, was a dialect of Phoenician or Hebrew. People of Punic origin prospered again as traders, merchants, and even politicians of the Roman Empire. Carthage once again prospered and even became the number two trading city in the Roman Empire until Constantinople took over that position. The Emperor Septimius Severus had Punic ancestry and was said to speak Latin with a Punic accent. Under his reign, Carthaginians rose to the elites or the Israelites rose to the elites in the Roman Empire. From the book, Italy, Her People and Their Story, a popular history of the beginning, rise, development and progress of Italy from the time of Romulus to that of Victor Emmanuel III. Page 3. 64. Severus, Empress Severus, appointed his sons, Cocula and Gita, as his joint successors in the empire. And for the next 25 years, African Negroes ruled in Rome. The Israelites replaced the ethnic Romans as the ruling class of the Roman Empire. The royal families of Europe were ethnic Israelites. The indigenous American Indian archaeology shows Israelite origins for the pre-Columbian natives 